Hi, Kim here from Keep Fit with Kim with another walking workout, just 15 minutes. Look around you, check there's nothing you're going to trip over, st um, stand on, hurt your feet, or bash into. So lifting the heels and keeping the balls of the toes down for now, adding a little bicep curl, very, very gentle more about getting the blood flowing through the body than getting any work in the arms. Keep breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth, or whatever works for you. Again, your body, your workout. Take the heels forward and so lifting the toes up. So feeling that in the back of the heel. So you might be just lifting the toe a little bit here or making it a bit bigger. So you want to make it harder to swing the arm. Just watch. I'm having to be careful here. I'm going to turn sideways or I'm going to bash the wall. I work out in a tiny little fourth bedroom down in my basement, which really isn't big enough as a bedroom. So it's quite a cramped setup here, hence my, mat, my workouts all being designed to be in the space of a mat. Keep those feet moving. Taking the feet out to the side, so tapping out. Well done. A little bend if you want, so you can bend in between or you can just keep it small. Well done. If you lift the elbows up, you're gonna feel it in the back of the arms, or just let the shoulders relax. I'm gonna work the back of my arms today. Try and keep the hands relaxed. You're gonna go back to that jogger's walk, so just lifting the heels. So have a quick peep down, see what's happening. Are your knees coming straight forward? Or are they coming across your body? I'm really exaggerating them. Or coming outwards, maybe. Have a look, check. Maybe afterwards, go up and look in the mirror. Just see, are your knees tracking forward in the best position for your body? Those heel digs, so heels out in front. Well done, keep that going through the gap. Let's take it to a side step. I want you to move slowly over towards the left of your mat. So just make those steps a bit big one side, smaller the other. Two steps. Well done. So make that as small or as big as you need. So I'm medium sort of size, but if you want to really make it big, you can add a little bit of a hop in the middle. If you want to make it smaller, keep it here. Hold it here. Let's tap the feet out to the side. Touching the toe out, just standing on one leg. Four, three, two, and change. Press a little bit. So bending the supporting leg if you want to, but you can just keep it small and change for four, three, two, and change. Four, three, two, and change. Two. Last time, we're going to go back to that double side step. Touch out for two. Take it back. Well done. So putting the two moves together. Well done. So you want to work the back of the arms, lift the elbows up. If you don't, just let them swing and relax. So you can just let them swing across and stay here. Keep it smaller if you need to. And a little hop if you want to make it a bit harder. Really up to you. I like to keep it low impact. 
last one. Side to side. I'm going to change the arms here. Forward, back. So I'm going forward, touch the shoulders. Reaching right forward, touching the shoulders. If you need to make that smaller, that's fine. If you want to add a hop, you can. Last four, three, two, one, two steps. Touch out, back, two steps, two touches, whoa. Two steps, two touch outs. Hold it here, touching out side to side. Touching forward, back. Well done. Last. Let the arms down if you need to. Last couple and double side step. If you need to make it small enough if you're feeling a bit out of breath, that's fine. But if you don't need to, really put something into it now. Well done. Singles. So bringing the feet in together. Ankles should be comfortable. So if your ankles are beginning to hurt, really do make it smaller. Your ankles will get stronger the more you do this. And always, always, you can wear trainers if you prefer. Double step and back. Well done. Just moving across to the left hand side of your mat now. Let's march it through. Right, left, right, left. And we're going to go with this is going to be a great vine eventually, but let's start with single side steps. Well done. Let the arms relax, shake them out. Just let them swing gently. Well done. Two steps and back. Swing the arms and pull. Swing. Now those that can, we're going to go straight into grapevine and stay there. So step cross behind, step and tap. I'm going to turn around and show those of you slowly. I don't know how to do it. Tap together. Step cross behind. Step and tap. Step cross behind, step and tap. Step cross behind, step. I'm going to stay slow. The rest of you stay fast speed if you're happy with it. Are you with me? Let's go up to B, up to time. Step cross together, step and tap. Hold on. If you need to go half time, that's fine. Hold it here. So those that can't manage the grapevine, just stay with the double step. We're going to go back into that from the beginning. Step tap. I think there was a funny beat in there somewhere. Don't worry if you're not on the same beat as me, it really doesn't matter. Two steps and back. Great vine. And have those arms. Do whatever arms feel right for you. If this doesn't work, I'm going to change the arms in a moment. So when I change the arms, you might want to go back to a double side step. So let's go to a double side step first. The arms go out, up, out and down. Now if that doesn't feel quite right for you, you don't like taking your arms above your head, you can do out, forward, out and down if you prefer. I'm going to stay with up, so just a little bit of work for the shoulders. Try and keep the neck 
and shoulders relaxed fairly. Nice big gap between the shoulders and the ear. We're not scrunching up to do this. Well done. Can you try that with a grapevine? One more each way. Well done. Side step. Bring it forward to me for four, three. If you've only got room for two, go back after the, after the first two. You can always do two forward, two back. If you need to turn sideways and do it on your mat. I'm having to be a bit careful here. So side step, side step, side step. Forward, back, back. Do what feels right for you. Kick it across. Well done. So catch the beat, right, left. We're calling the body down now. So keep the movements a little bit smaller. Catch your breath. I'm going to turn so you can see, stay facing me. Two forward, two back. But keep it small now. Let the arms swing heavily, shoulders relaxed. On the spot. Take it wider. Not very wide. Two in, two out. In, in, wide, wide. In, in, wide, wide. Hold on. Let your shoulders drop. Relax even. Hold it here. Circle the shoulders. Just as high as is comfortable for you. March two forward, two back. Forward, forward, back, back. Well done. Think about your breathing. That nice deep breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Or whatever works for you. As always, your body will work out. Two out, two in, keep it fairly small. Do slightly different arms, we're gonna march on the spot in a moment. Last, four, three, well done, two. Hold it here, march. When you're pulling back, watch you're not sticking your chest out. Only come up in the shoulders. Just so squeeze your shoulder blades together. Singles. So forward and open. Forward and open. Forward and open. Last four counts. Three, two, one. Two forward, two back. So two forward, two back. Stay facing me if you want. Or if you want to make it more interesting, you can angle it to the corner. I'll leave that up to you. Well done. I'm moving around the room a little bit. Really leave that up to you. If you want to have a little wander off around your room, pick up a glass of water, have a sip, that's fine too. Come back to facing me when you're ready. We're going to take it two out, two in. the stretch I'm going to take you get you to take your feet a little bit wider than your hips take the right foot back both feet are pointing forward we're going to lift up onto the toe so by lifting up onto the toe we're going to make it a lot easier to have your 
foot in the right position. Quite often the foot turns in and it's very difficult then to put your heel down. Now push that heel all the way to the floor. Look at my position. My knee is above my ankle. The leg is straight. Fairly straight line, so my lower back is relaxed. I'm not arched back, not folded forward. You can put the hands on your legs if you want. That helps balance a little bit. If it's a little bit too hard, obviously your foot's going to be here. If you're really flexible in your, hamstring, in your hamstrings, in your calf even, you're going to have that heel a lot further back. Somewhere that's comfortable. Watch you're not pushing too far forward. Feel what's going on with your knee. That knee should be, you can be able to see your toes. It should be lined forward. Beautiful. We do exactly the same on the other side. So taking the foot back, put the heel to the ground and lift and lower. So you're going to do it where your heel touches the ground. We're trying to keep the knee roughly above the ankle, somewhere between the ankle and the toes, not overshooting. Well done. Now push that heel down and lean into that stretch. I need to come a little bit further forward to get a stretch this side. Well done. And relax. A little shake out. Great, you've made it to the end of the workout. It's been lovely to be working out with you today. See you next time. Bye for now.